Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm really glad you came back and joined us. <laughs> I want to talk to you today about the ways in which God blesses his children. I want to read a scripture. It's Psalm 84, verse 11. It says, No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. It says, No good thing. That doesn't mean I get to give God my little wish list of whatever I want, but it does say, no good thing will God withhold from those who walk uprightly. You know, our life is not always very easy, and we can't always attain everything that we want to do in life. However, in the midst of the realities of life, sometimes it's sorrow, sometimes it's trouble, there's also a lot of blessings and a lot of joy that comes along with life. I've kind of discovered something, and if you think about it, you'll probably agree with me. A, a lot of times, the attitude that you have as you face life determines whether you will enjoy your experience or whether you'll be constantly angry, bitter, upset, disappointed <laughs> with life. A lot of it really does come down to your attitude and how you approach your day-to-day -day experience of life. And the truth is, if you and I live in the United States of America, we are extremely fortunate. We are blessed. We have personal liberty. We can worship God as we choose. The Constitution gives us freedom of speech, freedom of the exercise of our religion, our faith. And uh, we are really quite well off compared to most people who live in this world. And so we have a lot to be thankful for. You know, sometimes we have so many blessings in this life that we begin to take them for granted. And we just kind of assume that we're always supposed to have everything almost handed to us or at least available for us to pursue. But when you don't have those things, like many people in the world, you begin to realize how fortunate we are here in the United States of America. We have, for the most part, preservation from danger. There's many places in the world that are much more dangerous than living here in these United States. We also have a pretty good health care system. I'm not talking about the current government program. I'm talking about the hospitals and doctors and nurses and care providers that we have. Because these people who study so hard and work so hard to provide quality health care for us, we're fortunate to have them here. And we have this liberty that I mentioned. We have, in addition to that, some other blessings that we take for granted and we don't think about. You realize that when God created you and me, he gave us the ability to see. The eye itself is a miracle. Have you ever stopped and just said, God, I want to thank you. You've given me the ability to see. People who've lost physical sight have the ability through faith to have spiritual sight. And I will tell you, it's actually more important than spirit, physical sight. We also have the ability to hear. Well, at least most of us do. I can hear most, most things that happen. And we have this ability to see and to hear, to touch, to speak, to think, to imagine. All of these things come from the hand of God because he designed us that way. And in addition to that, we have the capacity to love. We have a capacity to love others and put that into action in how we relate to others, how we're willing to forgive others, how we're willing to sacrifice uh, our own time or our resources to help someone else. That really is an American trait and it's one that ought to be typical of every Christian. And the most important gift that God gave us, oh yeah, His Son, Jesus Christ. The most valuable, precious gift we could ever receive is the Son of God. What should our response be to all these things? I'm going to put it into one word, gratitude. We need to be thankful. We need to stop moaning and groaning and complaining about things. Approach life with, well, just go through your day today or tomorrow looking for what are the things I could be thankful for. You watch. Every time you see something you're thankful for, your attitude will improve. And you begin to realize, my life's pretty good. i got a lot of things to be thankful for. Well, I hope that that encourages you very much. 
So as you go through your day, as I said, look for something to be thankful for and give your thanks to God. He loves us.